hope you're all well. Now this is a new video for me. This is my first card reading video and I'm super excited to do this. A little bit nervous but excited because I have been working with cards for about 10 years and I've done them with my friends and myself and I thought, you know, it's time to do videos like this. I really enjoy watching these videos myself and my friend Vanessa encouraged me to do it as well because she was like, yes girl, you need to do it. And I'm here and I'm doing it and she is just amazing. She is a great card reader. So if you guys um, are interested in these videos then definitely check her out. Um, I'm actually wearing a bit of her jewelry now as well um, and using some of her crystals today. So yeah, she's amazing. So please check her out and thanks for the support girl. I really like and grateful that you pushed me to do this because I'm so excited. I haven't been excited to film a video in a while and I'm excited. So although I'm a bit nervous, I'm excited because I know this is really good. So today, what I'm going to do is um, a reading of what you guys need to know right now. So if you guys have never done a card reading before, this is timeless. So whenever you watch this video, it will be right for you at that time. But you will go with the groups. So whatever card pile you're drawn to, skip to the timestamp in the video and watch that because that is your pile. If you're drawn to more than one pile, then watch a couple, that's always fine, and take what you need. And know that within a card reading, you always have free will. So if this isn't the outcome that you would like, if these aren't you know, things that you want to happen, then you can change that. It's just good to be aware that this is the kind of path you're on right now. So basically, we have four piles. This is pile number one, this is pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. And if you take a few moments to pause the video, take a couple of deep breaths, like a few deep breaths, and whatever pile you're drawn to, go for that, and then skip to the timestamp, and there'll be your reading. So, yay, I'm super excited to do this. Um, so, let's see what the angels, the universe has to say, what you need to know right now. So, hi, pile number one. This is your reading. And you chose the clear quartz, such a beautiful crystal, right? So let's see what you need to know right now. Oh, I feel that you've got some good cards here. So the first card you have is destiny. So right now, you really need to go within. Go into your heart, go into your heart space and kind of go on the path that you feel aligns to you. Your destiny is calling you. And sometimes we lose connection and sometimes we need help in order to be realigned. So maybe try that meditation, um, getting more into your spiritual practices because des you are destined to do great things. And with this, it's really connecting to your heart space. And when you connect to your heart space, your destiny will unfold. So I think it's really important for you right now to really align with yourself because really you are kind of in alignment, but your destiny awaits. Um, and I think that because you've got the card accelerated motion, this is going to happen fast. So your destiny right now is it's shooting fast. I mean, this is amazing what you've got right here. So literally, when you start um, connecting with yourself, your higher self, you are kind of on alignment already, I think. But I feel like there's a little bit more work to do. But that will happen quickly. And once that happens you are going to be shooting for the stars, you are going to be aiming high and it's going to happen in such a fast paced mo mo it's going to happen in such a fast paced motion that it's going to be super exciting and you are just realizing that you're on the right track and it's going to lead you to harmony. Um, so with this I see that potentially you need to know that you are on the right path guys. This is firstly, the first thing I want to say is you are on the right track you are definitely going the way in which you should be going and connecting with your higher self, following who you, what you want in life, doing what you think is great and what aligns with you, what makes you happy, what makes you light up will lead you to a partnership. So know that this is coming and know that if you're in a relationship already that you know harmony is coming and there's a connection. Look at the green on the card guys, I don't know if you can see it too well, let me show it closer. But the green is like the heart chakra, it's a connection. And there's going to be harmony within a relationship and harmony within yourself. Connecting with yourself and following your heart is going to lead you to your destiny. So, it's oh, I love this um, for you. This is exciting and I feel excited seeing these cards. It's like you've waited for a time and you are really on the right path. And 
whoa, this is going to move fast and it's going to just bring harmonious energies and the right people into your life. This is a really good reading. So from the angel cards here, I've got Seraphina. It's a beautiful card. And here it says, I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Now, that could be like a child. It could be a relationship. But also I see this as a birth of an idea. So with these cards, because of obviously I feel like this is what you need to know. You need to know right now that you are on the right track. You, this is going to happen for you at quite a quick pace. You are then going to come in harmony, but you are planting the seeds to birth something. Now, this card, you could see this card as literal, like literally a child or um, even a pet. Um, but at the same time, I see it as the birth of an idea, the birth of your destiny. So that's super important to notice that, you know, some it may be um, a child, a pet, um, but it also could be an idea. And yeah, you need to know that that is coming, guys, because that's exciting. Um, let's see if they have another message for you. Whoa, that one came flying out, so for sure, group number one. You have Zana. So Zana says, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to feel relaxed and safe. So I can see this is maybe a challenge for you right now. It's that you don't maybe believe that all this greatness can happen because this is a great a great reading so you don't necessarily believe all this greatness can happen because you've been hurt in the past and you feel like you could be betrayed or just harmed in some way or that you can't trust but know that if you open your heart that it will happen all of this will happen when you come in an alignment and that's why i see with the destiny card so i think you know just remember that and know that your angels are protecting you you are on the right track so let go, be free, and just kind of follow your heart with this because this is where you'll excel at everything and everything will be harmonious because this is just a great, great reading. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, um, I just think guys that you really need to know right now that you are on the right track and stop doubting yourself. Like don't worry about like what people think, don't worry about what outsiders may say, don't worry about your past and what's happened in your past. Know that your ideas, which I think this card is really symbolizing, your ideas are your destiny. Just keep hearing quick, quick, quick. Um, I'm just gonna pull a mermaid's card for you. Ah, oh, and you have love. You've got the love mermaid card. I love that, love. <laughs> oh. um, I love it because with this, I feel like there's a lot There's a lot of green energy here and it's like heart chakra stuff. But this kind of makes me think that, you know, you have all the love. But also, this could be, you know, be aware of the people around you. Be aware because there may be, this may be, This see, this could be however you want to see it. So it could be, because we've now had love, it's like I'm being told this could be an idea. But this also could be a re new relationship. And it's going to come in quick and it's going to be your destiny. Oh, I'm seeing it come in another way. Yeah. So if it, it could be career, guys, and it could be something you love. And this is all harmonious and your life path. But this could also be a new relationship. And this could be your destined relationship. This could be a soulmate relationship. Mm, this is, yeah. I mean, it's turning into a bit of a love reading. But it also could be loving what you do. Because obviously this is, you know, how many people are going to watch this? Pick number one. So... This could be some of you guys with your career, some of you guys with relationships and with actual family. So I feel that this relationship, if it's a relationship, is going to come in fast, it's going to come in strong, it's going to be soulmate, twin flame energy. And yeah, that's what I'm hearing and that's what I'm feeling. So, but you know, if it's more the career side that you feel in tune to, then this could be that you are going to love what you do and you need to give yourself some self love in order to create this and to manifest this into your life because that's where you know it's okay to it's okay to love yourself it's okay to love what you do and it's okay to love again if you feel insecure with a relationship or like how your past has been it's really turning into a love reading um but i do feel that that is really really important to kind of work out which is yours it could be both um but I see a really strong soulmate energy here. Wow, yeah, that took a turn. <laughs> so that's exciting. 
So I'm just going to use a star seed deck and just ask what do group what do pile number one need to know right now? Star seeds. Whoa. Okay, that card kind of jumped out on me. <laughs> okay, guys, you got called and it says soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. Yes. So those of you if it's career, relationship. Eva, you need to step up, you need to start taking control, you need to start to see your worth and know that you've got all the gifts, that all the gifts are inside of you in order for you to live your destined life. This is an amazing confirmation of the cards because you have, you know, I feel that there's a real spiritual energy about you and you've got so many gifts that you can tap into but you maybe shut away and protect yourself and think, oh no, maybe um, not what people think is good or you're know, embarrassed about it, but know that it's a gift and it's not a bad thing, it's an amazing thing. So step up, be your true self because all of this will unfold for you when you're your true self. So once you use your natural gifts and you're being called to do something, know that you know it's all in alignment. This is a confirmation for you guys that you need to follow your heart. All of this feels very love-based and heart-based, sorry I should say heart chakra based and I do think you are being called to follow your heart, follow your desires because that's what's going to make you happy and that's what the angels are saying will really help you right now is to really be aligned with who you are. I feel that you need that confirmation that you are on the right track and you are but I feel that you need that confirmation so with the confirmation you can now go forward and you need to just um, step up you need to go for it because this region is amazing and you have all the tools and all the gifts and all the great energy but sometimes I think you're just not believing in yourself enough or you are scared to love again or you're scared that your spirituality will be seen as weird or you know not right but if you birth the idea and just go with it you're being called to create the life that you want to follow your destiny. So I'm just gonna, that is the main part of the reading that you guys just need to go for it because you are on the right track. Like once you align with yourself and I feel this is a sign for you to maybe just go out and meditate for a bit and just like realize what you really want because I think you know. I don't think you need to be told what you wanna do. I think you know what you want but you need to kind of jump in. So I'm just going to pull you a self-care card as a little extra just to like see what you can be doing right now to give yourself some love and I mean we all need a little bit of that right so let's just see what the that spirit want to say to you like what you should be doing right now just to kind of give yourself some time some self-care. So you've got connect with nature. So I think that when you get out in nature on your own and going somewhere really quiet and peaceful and just connect with nature, ground yourself. Maybe you need to ground yourself a little bit for all this to come in. But when you get out in nature, you may clear your head. You may be able to breathe and see things better. You may be able to understand what you really want. So I think get out in nature, do something for you. And I think that's what Spirit is calling you to do is connect with, connect with the earth. Because once you connect with the earth, you know, you may be all up in your head and spiritually you're there but not open like around you, like you're not sure. You need to connect with the earth to make you feel grounded and kind of bring the ideas like that you, you're on the right track as well. Like just connect with nature, it's always great. And this card is so pretty. So yeah, guys, you're on the right track. Go for it. Align yourself with love. You've got so much green on your reading that you just, you need to align yourself with that love because you are, you've got a destiny here. And I feel like, I'll just reiterate that one, this could be the best career for you. You're on the right path. Your career is gonna blossom at a speed of lightning. Or, and, it could be both, that you have a soulmate coming in really, really quick. And you need to be aware of this, like it's going to be full on love, like soulmate, twin flame, amazing energy, 
your soul partner and you just need to tap into the real you and align with the real you and be true to yourself for all of this magic to happen. So sending you so much love. I hope that was good for you. That was my first reading guys. So thanks for being number one. You were my first ever virtual reading. So yeah, sending you so much love and I will speak to you next time. Hi pile number two and welcome to your reading. You chose the beautiful amethyst. How gorgeous is this raw cut crystal? I just love it. I have it on my coffee table all the time and I got that from Vanessa's shop. So, well, she sent it to me as a gift, like how kind is she? But you chose a beautiful amethyst. So let's see what your card reading is. Okay, so firstly you have recognition and reward and then you have sacral chakra and intuition. So I'll just show you these cards. Recognition and reward sacral chakra, intuition. What spirit want you to know is the recognition and reward that you want is coming. Like you are gonna be recognized for your gifts, your talents, and all the hard work that you've been doing. Don't worry, that is coming. So you are kind of aligning with that. So that's amazing. With the sacral chakra, I always feel that when chakra cards come out, that you need to do some, maybe some um, cleansing of that chakra. So the sacral chakra is the second chakra. Um, first of all, you have your uh, root chakra, then your sacral chakra, just kind of like below your belly button. And this kind of is like the sexual organs, the creativity, um, those sort of things. So maybe you're not aligning with that right now. Maybe you're not sure that you maybe are going to get this recognition for your hard work. So maybe you need to just do some like cleansing of the chakra, um, do a meditation, do some chanting, um, that will really help. But you guys have got a lot of intuition and you need to trust it. The spirit is telling me that you really need to trust your intuition, trust those gut feelings that you have about certain situations, certain people in your life, because it's usually right, okay? So if there's something in your life you're not sure about, there's a reason why. So really follow that. Um, I feel like these two go together and this one kind of is more what you need to know on its own. I feel that these two are coming together. But I do feel that you need to connect with yourself and understand that you do have the answers inside. So all the things you wanna know, you have the answers. This may connect with you in other ways if you read in the cards, like you know, the recognition and reward you may see as like, oh, that's because of this. So whatever you feel that is drawn to, but I'm just saying that, you know, you are getting that, but it feels like sometimes you're not. And, Maybe you need to just use your intuition with so many situations. It's just telling me that you need to go in and find out what you want out of life. Mm, that just came out of my mouth. I didn't even like think. So what you want out of life. So maybe you need to reevaluate your situation in life. Let's see what the cards say further. I'm going to ask for an angel card. Um, see what the angels have to say about the situation. Because it's not completely clear if it's one situation or they kind of want you to know this in general that you are being rewarded for your talents, your gifts, um, your kindness, and it's paying off. But yeah, what else, what are they saying? Okay. Okay, you've got Grace and Antoinette, and it says, to help heal this situation, see the other's point of view with compassion. So with this, I feel that there's probably a disconnect with somebody here. It could be a friend, it could be a partner, um, and perhaps you feel that you're not being, ah, perhaps you feel that you're not being acknowledged in the way that you want to. Maybe there's a disconnect in your relationship. I feel this could be an actual relationship because we have a sacral chakra card here. So perhaps that you don't feel seen and you don't feel heard. Um, but use your intuition, and I think your intuition is telling you that maybe that you need to be a bit more compassionate to them as well. Perhaps you're just feeling it's all like, oh, poor me kind of thing, but really you need to maybe have some more communication, more conversations, and then you'll realize that, oh, okay, it's all good. So to, to help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So maybe there's things that have been unsaid, maybe there's things that you've just seen from your point of view and you've been like, ah, that like, this isn't right. This I feel that I'm taken for granted. I don't feel like I'm loved in the way that I wanna be loved. But maybe there's something else going on, something further. Let's see um, if they give us another message. 
but they will. I'll pull one, but let's see uh, what the other message may be for this situation. You've got Oceana. Well, we're definitely going to have to pull my makeup for you. Um, you've got Oceana, and it says, I take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation, and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. Okay, okay. So, right. Those two cards, that card goes with your intuition, okay? So that's confirming the intuition. You need to tap into intuition. Whatever you're thinking is probably right. So, again, you need to maybe talk to this person, communicate, see their point of view from a loving space. Doesn't mean that they're probably right. It just means that you are more in alignment and less like in your head and more from your heart. So go with the situation from that point of view. I feel that like there's a disconnect in your relationship or a relationship, or you feel like there's something missing in that. You feel like you're not being, you you just don't feel loved in the way you want to be loved right now. Um, there may be some arguments taking place um, at the moment, but Spirit's saying that, you know, you need to trust your gut feeling with this. Really go inside and see what what is coming up for you, what feels right. And I think to help heal the situation, have a conversation. And it may be a loving conversation, it may just sort of lead to like, you know, a great, it leads to great things, but I think you need to trust yourself in this. You know the answers. Sometimes I think we kind of always look outwardly, but within, you know the situation. And I feel that, uh, yeah, I think you need to trust yourself and know that you're worth so much. Like, you know, sometimes things just change with certain people in your life. And like I said, this could be, I say a romantic relationship because we've got that sacral card there and I feel like it could be a home life but if you are single right now and you have this come up I feel that this could be a friendship that you just feel that someone takes you for granted that you they aren't really in the loving space in which you wish they were and you feel a bit of a disconnect and you feel that you're the one putting in all the effort and they're not doing anything to show any effort back to you like love to you so I think what you need to do is just have a conversation and maybe just see it from their point of view a bit, but also trust your intuition with the situation. So you've got the Mermaid card of light. So the Mermaids, obviously you got the Oceana card, I had to call you a Mermaid card. Um, and with this, the light card from the Mermaids, I see that there's going to be light at the end of the tunnel with the situation. They're telling me that light is coming. It's not always going to be this way you're not always going to be in your head you're going to see the light this is going to come to like once i feel like once you have a conversation and once you communicate and you know whether it be the friendship's over there may be an argument within this the relationship's over whatever that sort of situation i think that there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel gotta just trust your gut trust your intuition because that's all you've got, like you, your soul knows. Your soul knows what it needs to do. Um, and, but there is gonna be light at the end of the tunnel with this. It's not gonna carry on for long. This is what Spirit wants you to hear right now because it's just saying, you know, this is what's eating you up a little bit at the moment. Um, I'm just gonna see what these cards have to say for one of these cards. Um, yeah, it's kind of just eating you up at the moment. Oh my God, guys, we keep getting confirmations. Oh, thank you, universe, for this guided energy. Like, it's amazing. You've got Child of the Cosmos. I don't know if you can see my cards very well, guys, but I'll read them to you, obviously. Um, so you've got Child of the Cos Cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. I mean, this is a massive confirmation. We've got three cards here to tell you to trust yourself. We've got three cards to trust your intuition. And... Once you trust your intuition, you might be on a different path. You might go on a different path because you'll start to trust yourself and know that, mm, guys, literally, I'm just feeling like you just really need to trust yourself right now. This person may, you know, you may need to just see it from their point of view, but really it's all about you. It's all about how you feel in the situation. And once the situation passes, it's going to be good times. Things are going to be aligned again. Oh, I just love it when they confirm that. I just think you really need that confirmation that um, you can trust yourself. You've got all the answers you need. You are a being of light. Yes. 
you're a being of light and you need to just connect and understand that you you're not wrong like you are feeling away because you're feeling away but maybe just have a listen to what the other person has to say Ooh. and you know with compassion give them love and light but also give it to yourself so i've picked a self-care card for you um just because i think this is just a nice way to end it and you've got health checkup so right now obviously it's quite hard to have a bit of a health checkup situation but if you're watching this in the future then maybe you need a little health checkup but to me this also could be maybe you need to reevaluate your health a little bit so maybe you need to check in with yourself maybe it it may be that you need to maybe um, work out a little bit eat a little more eat like eat healthier make sure you're hydrating like getting all your vitamins so this card is just a little reminder for you to just look after your health like put your health first because it's super important. I would say health is like a number one value of mine because without it, I can't do this, I can't do as much, so, or travel or anything. So maybe if you just have a little health checkup, that is just a little thing that Spirit wanna say, but your main message right now is to heal this situation and you can do that. So I hope that helped guys. Let me know in the comments below if this was your reading and how it felt and how it aligned with you. Um, I'm really grateful that you've watched my first ever reading, guys. Hey. Um, but yeah, this this situation is gonna, it may seem tricky at first, but once you align and listen to you, it's gonna be all good. Send you lots of love. Mwah. Hi, group number three. You picked the electroplated quartz. How stunning is this? Like, it looks like rainbows, like rainbow quartz. Like, oh, it's just so beautiful. Love it. Let's see what the universe wants you to know right now. Okay, so I'm not sure you can see the cards very well, guys, but I'm going to explain them for you. So you have positive movement forward, sacrifice, and mental conflict. So what I see here is that you are going through some kind of like, oh, you don't really know what you're doing. You don't know if you should go one way or another. And you've got some mental conflict because you know that there's going to be a sacrifice that needs to be made in order to make this positive movement forward. But once you make this positive movement forward, once you sacrifice something in your life that is kind of getting you down, kind of not really in alignment with your soul, there's gonna be a positive movement forward. It could be um, go moving, it could be going abroad, traveling, across seas, there could be something that is pulling you across the water. Like I see like travel, Although, like, if you're watching it right now, travel may seem a bit crazy right now, but it could just be a change of life. It could be a new way of living. Um, and, but with this, because you have this mental conflict right now, you know you need to sacrifice, because you know you need to sacrifice something in order to have a positive movement forward. And it could be leaving a situation that you're in. It could be, um, you know, following your desired path and, you know, letting go of old stuff because sometimes we can hold on to things that no longer serve us. Like even past relationships, past friendships, we can be holding on to like energy from that. So sometimes we need to cut a cord and sacrifice that because it no longer is serving you. But once you sacrifice something that you feel that, oh, you don't know if you want to, you have this mental conflict of what's right and wrong. I feel right now, like there could be something that you think, oh, I shouldn't be doing that, I've got so many things to take care of, but so sometimes you need to sacrifice the good to move on to the great. And once you do sacrifice the good to move on to the great, positive movement will happen. So it's a, it's a really good card, guys. Like, it's not negative, like, it may seem negative, but it's like, this is what Spirit wants to say to you and the universe is saying is that you need to understand that this mental conflict that you're going through right now isn't needed because you need to sacrifice something for a positive movement forward. It's confirmation for you guys that you um, should move forward with this and that you're not kind of over, like stop overthinking it because it is right for you. This is what is you need to do. Um, it can be confusing. It may even be that you wanna like leave your job to create a new path to be your own boss. Yeah, because you have to sacri sacrifice kind of an income coming in maybe, or it could be a relationship. It can be so many things, but only you will know what resonates with your soul right now, what aligns with you from this is what is true. So you need to let go of something 
and stop beating yourself up about it because, yeah, I think oh, there could be so many situations with this, guys. This could be like you've done something that you're not, you are ashamed of in your past, but you need to like let that go in order to move forward. So if that aligns with you, that is another message that I'm getting from this um, pile. Because obviously the question that I'm asking is what do pile number three need to know right now? And it's not, it would be, if we were doing love reading, I could say it was just that, but there's so many ways in which we can look at this reading. So um, the angels, you've got Archangel Michael right now. Got Ar you've got Archangel Michael card. And he says, I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. I keep getting so many confirmations in these card readings, guys, and it's just incredible, and I'm just so happy for you that I'm able to do this, because it's actually confirming to me that, you know, this is really good to do right now for you, and that you're here. Oh, it's just amazing. Guys, Archangel Michael is saying to you that he's guiding you. Like, you need to make, like, there's life changes that need to be made, sacrifices that need to be made in order to move forward. These cards go together so well. Um, but you, and these three cards, all of them, all, all of these cards mirror each other perfectly. You need to let go of something in order to move forward. Stop worrying, cut those cords from the past and move forward. Get out of your head and commit back into your heart because that is, you know, where you should be because that is where you'll then align and you'll make this positive movement forward into your life. It's just gonna be beautiful because although it may seem difficult and it looks like you're trudging through muddy waters with this sacrifice card right now, but once you break free from those cords, you'll, ugh, the life will be so much more fulfilled. And know that you know, you've got the support of the angels, you've got Archangel Michael, and you've got the courage there. He's saying you have the courage, you just need to go for it. And you also have Archangel Raphael. So here you have the Archangel Raphael card and it says, I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. So you have this card because you can heal yourself and know that it, you don't have to look outwardly to heal yourself, you can heal, you are a healer. So maybe you're looking into more spiritual remedies, herbal remedies and things and it kind of aligns with you uh, but just know that you can heal yourself in this situation and you can help heal others too. So once you kind of can use your ideas that, you know, you're worried right now that you can't do this, you'll be an example. You can lead by example because you can show that despite the challenges you're facing, you can move forward and go with your alignment of life and where you need to be in life. And yeah, you just need to trust yourself. You need to push yourself and know that you're being divinely guided. What you're feeling right now is, is you know, okay to feel like we, we do get mental conflict sometimes and it's difficult, but know that if you stay there, you won't move forward. You know you need to sacrifice something and that's why you've got the mental conflict. But know that even if it's difficult, you'll be able to heal yourself. And um, yeah, that is just really what I'm hearing. So what do the mermaids have to say about the situation? What you need to know right now. So you've got the innocence card. So with the innocence card, I see that with the situation, you need to bring back your inner child. That you are still that girl or boy inside. Like sometimes we forget when we're adult, we forget that we have the fun side of us, that we have that innocence and that just that joy of innocence and just pure love inside us. So I think you need to tap back into that inner child and give her some love, like heal yourself, heal that inner child. If there's some trauma from when you were younger, perhaps you need to heal that, you need to sacrifice that, you need to get rid of that, you need to heal that. And in order to move forward with your life, to heal something that may have happened in your past. But also know it's good to have some fun, let go. Like don't be so up in your head all the time. And don't be so worried about the situation because it's gonna be great, the situation is positive. This card it may seem at first like, oh my God, but positive movement forward, I'm like, that is the main thing here. But you need to, you know, everything that you're doing is from the heart. So once you are guided from your heart, then it's gonna be better. You need to just get out of your head and come back into your heart, the innocence of the child within you. Because I keep looking down at the card, sorry guys, but once you 
Understand that you are still a child at heart, that you have that energy within you, those ideas within you. Like when we were younger, we would just try something because we wouldn't be worried. We would just try it. And this is what it's saying to me is just go with the flow, like go with what your passions are. Like you are on the right track. Like when you get up out, out of this situation, you'll be on the right track. <laughs> and you've got from the star seeds, you got all paths lead to home. And this says, inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. You need to get out of here and come to here. All paths lead to home. Positive movement forward. It's hard for me to pick them up. So you have the positive movement forward and all paths lead to home. So when you start to go feel like you're on the right track, know that you are. Listen to that inner voice. That inner child, that inner authority within you that is telling you to trust your feelings. Trust your gut feelings. Stop trusting the head feelings because the head is kind of trying to rationalize things, but the heart knows really what it wants. And when you think, oh, this is a great idea, and you think, oh no, I can't do that because I'll have to sacrifice this, I'll have to sacrifice that. Oh, I might let someone down. But no, it's movement forward that your soul wants. So don't worry about the things that you have to sacrifice because in life a lot of the time we do have to let things go in order to move forward we have to try new things to move forward and it's really really important so that is the message i got for you i'm just going to pull you a self-care card because i think that's a nice way to end it um but please leave me a comment below like if this resonates with you in some way if you're going through some mental conflict and you don't know how to move forward then let me know and or just leave a message below of how you felt this reading aligned with you but let's see what the self-care what self-care you need to be doing for yourself right now you need to be doing some energy work guys so check in on your energy i think because you'll be having so you need to align yourself so because you're having so much mental conflict at the moment with this situation you need to align yourself you need to balance your chakras you need to do some breathing exercises some meditation checking in on your energy how are you feeling like really check in and do the energy work mm, yes so once you this will help you to get out of your head and into your heart and have that positive movement forward where you go on the best adventure you could go on a great adventure of your life like by adventure i mean actual adventure like you go somewhere it could be a love adventure it could be a career adventure or just like a holiday or just a feeling that it gives you but know that you have to maybe do some energy work today like start with that that is what i would say is do something like aligning your chakras align yourself do things that make you feel good it doesn't always have to be meditation it could be working out it could be moving it could be so much so i hope that was helpful let me know if it was below and thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you soon Hi pile number four, you picked the beautiful rose quartz. I'm always drawn to rose quartz, so I just love it for self-love and self-worth and just love in general. So let's see what the universe wants you to know right now, what spirit thinks you need to know, angels, guides, whatever you feel that resonates with you, let's see what you need to know right now. Well guys, hmm, looks like you're going through some massive transformation right now. You may be going through a spiritual transformation, physical transformation and inner work transformation, but you are going through a transformation. You have been through some, you know, you are like the butterfly, like this card, this transformation card, she has like butterfly wings on her. You have been the caterpillar and now you're blossoming into this butterfly in terms of your spiritual work, your life, things seem to be changing. There's been a massive change for you. And that is great. Like it can be always a great thing that change is happening, change is, inevitable in life but I feel like there's a change here a change a transformation has happened and it's just made you feel kind of more aligned with who you are it's a good thing to go through a transformation but I feel like there's been a massive transformation here in spirit of, or, or spirit is here saying that there will be a transformation a transformation is coming um, so you can either have gone through a transformation or a transformation is coming right now. If you feel that you've gone through one right now, align with that. But if you feel that you something's changing within you and you feel like, oh, things are different for me, then transformation is coming. Um, and you have the fertility card. Okay, wow. 
So for me, I feel that the fertility relates to ideas and birth. So this could be that you have a great idea that you want to come into fruition, you're planting the seeds for it to happen and you're birthing these ideas. Or it could literally mean fertility. It's funny because group number one got very fertile cards as well. But here it's just like growth. Mm. Ah, see I feel like more comes out as I speak. Transformation and fertility. Mm. I feel that you are growing and I think you are the fertile being. You are growing, you are changing, you are becoming who you really should be. And you. this leads to foundation and achievements. So this could be a partnership with somebody, you could have um, a family with somebody, you may have a new home, you may feel really grounded right now, really aligned and really like earth energy. All of this feels very earth energy for me. Maybe not so much transformation card, but these two definitely. Um, but very earth energy, very, like, you are abundant. Lots of good stuff is coming to you. Um, it feels that a lot of whatever you set your mind to right now will happen because you go through this transformation and the, the seeds that you're setting are going to be abundant. You're going to be abundantly blessed with your ideas. Your ideas are going to create a great thing. So keep going with what you're doing or, you know, feel like, you are really in alignment with what you want right now and know that it, you're going to come into some, you know, there's going to be a real good foundation and achievement here. So know that it could be so many things. It could be material things. It could be a home. It could be relationship. It could be an achievement such as a career. So know that you're on the right track and with this transformation leads great things. So if you're just starting your transformation, keep going because it's going to create a great life um, and a fertile life a fertile life of ideas, of birthing ideas. Um, it's all about following your heart and connecting with your heart. Okay guys, you got Caressa and it says you are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. Oh, how amazing is that? Sorry you can't see my cards too well. I'm trying to figure out a way in which you can but this is the best way I can do it right now. But that just shows your transformation. This connects with the transformation card. Um, you're at the end of a cycle of your life. So yeah, you're going through a transformation right now and it's a good thing. If you're a bit like, ah, call upon your angels to know that you're on the right track, but you're here today, the angels have come in and you are on the right track. This is confirmation that this change, the end of this old cycle, it's, it had to happen because this is where you're gonna be happy. Um, the transformation that's taken place is gonna lead you to your um, destiny, your foundation and achievements. It's all a great, ooh, it's great, positive. Oh, yes, you are, you just need to go with it. And don't be worried. This is what the change had to happen. This change really had to happen in order for you to create the abundant life that you are looking for. Huh, so the other group got this card as well. So this card is obviously wanting to jump out at a lot of you guys right now. And there's Zana. Zana, 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 um, and she says, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is behind you. I ask you to feel relaxed and safe. So yeah, so you've basically got a lot of support around you right now, guys. So don't worry. Obviously, change is sometimes scary, but like I said, change is inevitable, and we're ever changing beings, and things have to change in order to move forward. But this is really positive. So know that if change and transformation is happening for you right now, don't be worried. Know it's a great thing um, and that it's going to lead you to really where you need to be. But know that you're safe. Know you're protected. Know that this isn't wrong. Know that this is really where you are being guided to be. So don't worry too much about um, what's changing. Know that it, you've come to the end of a cycle and that this new cycle is really where you are going to be blossoming and I'm just going to ask the mermaids to speak up. So from the mermaids you've got discernment. So what I see here is that you um, know what's right for you, you know what's good and you know what's bad, you know what you need to do when you follow the flow, you know that this change is needed because there may have been some negative energy that you need to let go of and you are now 
coming into the real you and this massive transformation is just going to lead you to great things guys it's absolutely amazing so i'm really happy for you that you go through this transformation transformations aren't always easy like spiritual awakenings aren't always easy and that may be what you're going through but and the change in your life that you're going through but know that you can witness what is good what is bad for you be aware and know that you know the answers to that um, and you understand that what is right and wrong for you not anyone else not anyone in your circle that can see this transformation and be kind of like well that's different she doesn't or he doesn't normally she or he doesn't normally do that but you know you know what you need to do so go with the flow and just follow your heart understand that this is needed and this is divinely guided um, and it's going to pull you a self-care card i think that's a nice way to end the reading on but um leave me some comments below if um this resonated with you in some way if you're going through a transformation um i'd love to hear your comments okay, i'm just going to pull you a self-care card and you've got abundance planning <gasps> yes guys this really makes sense so you've got abundance planning. See where your money's going. See what you're spending your money on. I can see a lot of abundance coming to you. So this may be a part of that, like planning what you want to do, scripting and manifesting what you want to have in your life, the abundance you want. But also just keep ooh, <laughs> keeping track of kind of like the money that's going in and coming out. Um, and just know what you want. I feel like for you, this could be money is coming to you. Like there's a, like a lucky cat at the top there and some figures like monetary figures so i feel that with these things here you're really coming into some money when you have this transformation but i think it's important for now to write down what you're spending your money on what you're kind of like do you need to cancel any subscriptions at the moment because you may want to go through this transformation and stop certain things like stop subscriptions to something and create a new subscription so maybe you um, could be watching Netflix, but you could be watching um, Gaia instead. So you could switch it up um, just to kind of look in and check that in. So it's just a little reminder for you to check where you're um, spending your money and kind of planning what you want to manifest into your life. I really um, suggest maybe some scripting, like, yes, like write it as if it's happened, okay? But I hope this was helpful. Let me know if it was. And yeah, that was the last reading. I'm so grateful to being part of, well, I'm so grateful you watched my first reading. I hope it was helpful. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna be doing more videos like this and I promise they will get more, um, they will flow better. It's just, it's obviously a bit different for me talking to a camera and not a real person and knowing the situation. But I feel that if there's any topics that you want me to pull cards for, because this was very um, bro uh, broad. So I feel that in a way, if I have a more specific a uh, more specific thing then it may be more like pinpoint to that obviously but really grateful for you watching and leave me some comments below and i will speak to you next time bye guys